Holy crap, guys. We got a new Arkham game. Oh my god, we got a new... Ah, it's for fucking VR. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and react to it. It's only 40 seconds long. I didn't really get to listen to any of the audio, so this should be fun for at least me to listen to at least some of it to see what it is or what it could be. For the meta quest, of course. I think this is the same studio that made the the Iron Man VR, which was apparently really good. Oh, I just saw Batman Shadow off to the left. That was pretty cool. That, so we're basically just it's Ratcatcher. I'm assuming that's what it is because you got the mask right there, and then you got gloves right there, and then you're chasing a freaking rat. Batman chasing a rat is the funniest shit ever. Bro, holy shit, it's Tatashi on 69. 669 Tatashi on <laughs> late 2024. Okay, so a lot of people are speculating because, well, there's a few things that are going on. One is that uh, Roger Craig Smith actually retweeted this announcement. And I guess uh, many people are assuming that he's going to be the voice of Batman, which makes sense. I kind of like that. And if that's the case, then it could mean that this is taking place between Arkham Asylum and Arkham Origins, which is actually pretty interesting. The shitty part is that it's on this. <laughs> now, I actually happened to, to, well, I bought my niece one, so I technically own one. I'm going to go steal it from her when she's sleeping. You're not going to, she's not going to notice it. It's going to be hilarious, but it's going to be mine when this game comes out. I'm going to be playing this, and I don't know if I'm like really that excited about it because it just looks slightly meh it looks meh it, it's a cgi trailer and we already know what the freaking we already know what the vr type of gameplay looks like we've seen it from batman vr already so like i was saying it's the first of the month get up get up get up so you better subscribe yeah that's right baby we're in a new era of me i hope you like that superman type of profile picture because we're going to be going about it this whole month baby so go ahead and subscribe and like the video if you liked it so far um so let's go ahead and kind of talk about my general feelings since it is meh i mean like we've already kind of seen this arkham vr type of style thing with arkham vr <laughs> so you know getting a second one we're getting two arkham vr titles before we even get a mainline title for a fucking console it's like where where are their priorities right now do they think that this is going to sell high hotcakes i'm serious it's insane like i don't know anybody outside of like the internet that actually owns one of these meta quest things so it's just a bonkers decision to revitalize the arkham franchise with this now my hopes is that they do this and hopefully it's a success i'm gonna definitely buy it and when they when they see the numbers they're like holy crap people want arkham still woo and then you know they make another arkham game set in between arkham origins and arkham asylum with Roger Craig Smith as the helm. So I think that that's something that they can do. They could definitely profit off of this and kind of capitalize on people's disappointment with not only, you know, the Suicide Squad game, but with this announcement as well. And they could be like, okay, we know that you didn't like this, but we got another one coming up pretty soon. So that would be incredible. I would love to see something like that. Otherwise, I mean, like, if, if we're just going to wait another eight, nine, ten years for a fucking Arkham game, I mean, like, bro what the f what are they thinking what are they actually trying to do over there because all they have is a wonder woman game from what i know for freaking marvel they have like several they have blade wolverine spider-man 3 potentially venom and all this other crap they have so many different games they have a freaking overwatch type of game an overwatch like freaking marvel game with marvel superheroes where you're playing around 6v6 it sounds incredible where is that game dc oh we have gotham imposters ow god dang it man please help me this is all i want to see i just want to see new dc games but not like this not a two-hour vr game it's their most ambitious title yet it, it, it's vr <laughs> it's it's ambitious yeah it's ambitious all the way around but geez this is it's disappointing it's disappointing as an arkham fan who wants to see a game but not a freaking vr game you know that's like completely exclusive to one little device it's like god that's so sad disappointing so hopefully wb catches up and you know actually comes to their senses which i mean let's be honest that's never going to happen but it would be really really nice to see a new arkham game within the next like two or three years I mean, like, for Christ's sake, I'm willing to take, like, a 15-hour game, a 20-hour game. That's it. 
I mean, how real, how realistically difficult can that be if you set somebody's freaking development team to just make an Arkham clone? Just do it with a good story. That's, that's all you have to do, WB. It's not that freaking hard to make like 5 million copies sold in a month. It's not. You just have to do that. Remaster Arkham Origins. That's what everybody wants. And then you would freaking get a ton of money there. This constant baiting with the Arkham franchise to branch out. We're three games so far. We've had Arkham VR, Suicide Squad, which is set in the Arkham. It's an Arkham game, I guess. And then the freaking Arkham Shadows or whatever. So we have three games in a row that are just like freaking mid-tier shitters. Stinkers. Three in a row. Back to back to back. It's like, wow. Is this what we're going to keep getting with the Arkham franchise? Just freaking VR game after VR game? After freaking spinoff franchise, looter shooter, live service thing? Is that what we're going to get? Sad. Sad, sad state to be an Arkham fan. Because we're not getting shit except that. <laughs> Hopefully it's good though. I really do expect it to be decent with Roger Craig Smith if he, if he is going to be in there. And of course... um just judging off of what they did with iron man i think that they could make something interesting so tell me what you guys did in the comments below thank you so much for all the support and all the likes and whatnot it's been really appreciated i'll see you guys in my next one peace out